my first introduction to the symphony was really through the work Dale was doing with Jack and Becky Benaroya when he was developing the chandeliers for the new building. I hadn't been involved with the symphony at all, so going to that first opening night in 1998 with the chandeliers, knowing what had gone into the design and the vision around the building and experiencing the opening night concert was just such a such a thrill for me. So I think Dale really, in his way, um, brought me into it, and certainly Jack and Becky did, uh, invited us as guests uh, several times, which really made a difference. I met Jack and Becky very early on because they were board members of the Pilchuck Glass School, which uh, I was involved with. And I don't know, when they were building the symphony, somehow we got to talking about it, and uh, I said I'd love to do something for it. So it, you know, it worked out that they commissioned the, the two chandeliers, which really was probably the most important commission uh, that I'd done uh, at that time. And I'm very, very proud of those, that pair. The Seattle Symphony has totally transformed under Leslie's leadership these eight years. Um, she came in at a difficult time and the organization has come to thrive under her leadership. Over this time we have stretched and grown in pretty much every way imaginable. We're playing more exciting music, we're doing tons of community outreach and education programs, and this all came to be in the last eight years or so. Well, I had no idea that I was the right person to do the job, <laughs> and it wasn't something that I was ever planning to do or ever saw myself doing. But we were at a really critical moment in the organization with a major transition on the horizon. And over the course of a couple of months, I received some rather strong encouragement from um, a board member and a staff person that I was the one to step into this role. And I was really afraid of it and I thought it was daunting. But at the same time, I loved the symphony so much and I saw an opportunity for rebuilding and growing something from, from the ground up, really. Uh, Leslie has the unique ability um, to in interact with people and listen to them and feel like they are, there's a friendship there that's genuine. Um, she does it immediately and very few, few people have that gift. Um, it's wonderful, it's reassuring and it's empowering. And um, I think Leslie's contribution has really been as a role model. Um, I think she set a standard for what a um, member of the board of the symphony can be, what a member of this community can be. Um, and it's been, it's been in the most generous of ways. Her personal qualities really contributed to her ability to be successful here. She's straightforward. She has good vision. She knows where she wants to go. When she talks to you, she says just like it is, but she does it in a nice way. And if she wants something for you, she asks for it. One of the things that's really outstanding about Leslie to all of the orchestra musicians is her deep love for music and also her deep love and respect for the musicians of the orchestra that's really meant a lot to us over the years. I'm most proud of, of the fact that we've attracted so many um, people into the hall that were not coming to the symphony before. Um, so many supporters who weren't supporting uh, the symphony before. And I'm really proud of the way we've raised the profile of Seattle Symphony around the country and around the world. And so to be a leader, I think, is a really proud thing for us. Dale is one of the most important leaders in the development of glass as an art form. And that's had a major effect, a profound effect on, on Seattle. It's created an identity for Seattle as a place where great glass and great artists that make glass uh, reside. Uh, so it, 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 that identity, I, I think, is important. It's not every community of any size uh, or any scale that has two individuals uh, so committed, uh, especially a well-known artist, but interestingly partnered with somebody that has such a great natural talent to, uh, to work with and lead an organization such as the Seattle Symphony. Um, 
the combination of, of Dale and Leslie is something I rarely see even in New York or Chicago or Los Angeles. So uh, frankly, I think it's an enormous benefit and credit to, uh, to Seattle to have that kind of talent here, helping the city really develop to the next stage of its identity and importance and relevance as a, as a cultural center. Well, Dale and Leslie are kind of living proof of what family philanthropy can look like. And the fact that they have shared so much of the benefit of their, what they've made with their hands and with their hearts, they didn't just keep for themselves, they've given it just by bushels full to everyone. And it has made a lasting difference. It's a legacy that we'll always have, and I'm very, very grateful to them. Oh, I'm so, you know, proud of her for doing such an extraordinary job. It means so much to her because she loves the symphony. It's, it's turned out to be a, you know, a great time of her life. I want to thank the organization for, um, for making this evening so special for me and Dale. Um, it has been a sacrifice at times for our family, for, for work. Um, at times it's taken a tremendous amount of um, sort of time and heart and soul to, to do this job. And so as I go into the, my ninth and final year as board chair, I really just want to thank um, all of my friends. I want to thank Dale and thank our son Jackson. Thank Simon and Ludo. Thank the entire team and our board for supporting me. Um, because I couldn't have done it. I couldn't have done any of this. Um, and I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have stayed in the role if it weren't such a deep and meaningful um, opportunity and such a heartfelt passion. Thanks Dale and Leslie for all you've done for all of us. Thank you Leslie and Dale for your leadership and your generosity. There's no greater gift than art and I thank you both from the bottom of my heart for what you've given all of us. Dale and Leslie, Pam and I would like to thank you for all you've done for our community and for being our friends. Leslie and Dale, thank you for what you've done for all of our lives. Thank you.